morning. Are you all ready to work out? Are you? I hope so. So I've got the camera, the phone, I know we all call it a camera now, set so you can see my legs. I've got wild pink socks on so you can see my legs. This is a balance and core and stability exercise today and I'm going to chat for a bit till somebody jumps on with me. And uh, you'll need our cans of beans or chickpeas or tomato base or whatever you want. And you'll need um, a ball or a pillow. Hey, Lauren, what's up? I hope your signal does good today. Hey, Barbara, what's going on? So if you have a step, you can use a step. It's a little more advanced with what I'm going to show. I'm Cam Parker, your personal trainer for the morning, live on the World Wide Web on Facebook. And I'm going to be doing this Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8.30 a.m. for the duration. So regardless of you where you are, you can follow along or play it later. But for myself and for you who are have worked out with me here in Western North Carolina, you can join me at 8.30 so you're held accountable and you don't laze out while, while binge watching uh, numerous awesome television. Um, you can make sure you get your workout in for the day. So I suggest two to three strength trainings a week that are at least 30 to 60 minutes. And you need, really, really, really need to do 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise five times a week for at least 30 minutes. I know probably most of us aren't doing that. So just do whatever you can. Your bare minimum is 20 minutes four times a week. But I really, you'll feel a lot better if you try to get more in. If you want to count my workouts, fine. That's three. So you need at least four more cardio workouts. Okay. I'm being a trainer right now, helping you realize how much you got to take care of yourself. Your physical body and a healthy physical body is quite a gift. It looks like I got plenty of people showing up. So we're going to warm up our shoulders. I'm Cam Parker, your certified personal trainer for Friday morning. And let me, hi, this is Darby who for whatever reason is out this morning deciding she wanted to be up. So we have our two cans and we're gonna warm up our shoulders even though most of our work will be in our hip region. So we're gonna pump it up like this. I'm going to give myself something to kneel down on. Keep going. Remember, exercise is a science, but it's not an exact science. So you've, if you have tomato paste in your hands instead of beans, it's okay. All right. Then we're going to come. Did you hear that bell ringing? That's my dog. That's how we have her trained to let us know. Yeah, I want to go up. All right, go like this. I do have a guest timer today uh, because when I'm a trainer, what I need everybody to realize is I don't work out with people usually. What I, oh, we're down here doing this little curl. See this? Switch to this. Is I watch and make sure you're doing your form correctly and I time it or count it. But my preference is a timer because I work out groups a lot. And that way you're not fixated on, did I do it 10 times? Did I do it 13 times? Did I do it nine times? You're really just focused on moving for the time that we say. Uh, nothing wrong with counting. I'm just saying that when you have a group of people at different fitness levels, timing the movement kind of makes it equal. It's all about moving for the time we're saying, hey, Karen, what's up? Hey. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm. Just pouring it out. Notice how I just pour out this movement here like this. Okay. And now we're going to pour together. Pour together. We're going to pour it out on the ground. Notice my arms are almost straight. The elbows are soft. I'm not pouring it here. It's out here on the ground. Okay. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. I'm so glad everybody's staying safe. Staying home if you can. Big shout out to veterans and first responders and people that are engaged in the communities because you're essential. Appreciate all the work you're doing. Please stay safe. Keep going. Here you go. Now pour it out. Like I said, I'm not really counting these. I'm kind of just chatting, warming up my shoulder joints. Think about lifting through your chest right now. You want to get out of the habit of sticking your chin forward. That's not good. You actually want to think about moving that chin back. All right, I'm very big on posture 
The whole thing is to stay upright, not to curl over with time, giving in to gravity. Do not give in to gravity. Defy gravity. So out with all the obstacles. Do you having awesome posture and feeling great today? And celebrate your greatness. Out with the obstacles, in with the greatness. Okay, last one. Take it right here. Notice how my arms are parallel to the ground and I'm just gonna roll it forward. At this point, it might burn a little bit. That's okay. Burning just a little bit. Cans of beans, you could do this with no weight at all. If you have weights at home, please don't do more than three pounds for this series of shoulder movements that I do every time, almost every time we work out. Hey Trish, what's up? As I said, your name pops up and it says, is watching. I hope that I'm gonna interpret that, that you are actually working out. Okay, you get up, have a little snack, have some water. Make sure you have water, by the way, and because we might need it. Okay, so for your exercise today, you're gonna, I suggest we have a weighted, a weight, a gallon of water weighs eight pounds. You could use nothing for what we're doing. You can use a step and you can also use a pillow. So I'm gonna grab a pillow because I want to have things be not as stable as the floor and a carpet in your shoe might be enough for you. Remember, if you're a beginner or a senior, the chair back is always available for balance. All right, so we're just gonna get right into this. Do I have a timer person? Or if I just borrow your phone, then I won't need you, but it would be easier. So the challenge for me today is I wanna time these movements, but I also have to move these movements. And my phone's sitting over there. So if you just give me my phone, I think I'll be okay, unless you wanna say stop and go. Okay, so I hope everybody slept well last night. We got a pillow on the floor here, right? This is called a weighted high knee, okay? So I'm going to show you the exercise and then I'm going to do the exercise with you while timing it. Okay. Um, it's uh, set for a minute. Right? Okay. So it's a stopwatch. Okay. So weighted high knees. So let's say I don't want to use the pillow because I'm, I, I feel like my balance isn't very good. So I have a weight in one hand, not two, and I pick up a high, a high knee. That's, this is a very basic movement with a base, bicep curl, right? And so I'm like that. Do you see that? How I'm just picking the knee up, right? So for me, that feels really easy and it might for you. So what I'm gonna do now is stand on the pillow right in the middle. Ooh, that makes it different. And I'm gonna pick that knee up as I curl like this, okay? Now, I'm going to switch arms. It's up to you. It really doesn't matter too much which arm you do, but I want the opposite arm like that. Okay, good. All right, we're going to do this for 30 seconds, right and left. Ready? Go. Standing on something like a pillow. I'm going to back up. Y'all keep going. Keep going. I'm going to back up so my head's not cut off. All right, here we go. And I'm not setting my foot back down. That's the other key. Just picking that knee up. Oh, see, it really changes things. All right, 10 more seconds. You might feel your calf and the standing leg start burning, All right? And switch, okay, so we're just gonna switch hands with the weight, All right? I have my foot in the middle of a pillow and ready. There you go. See how I'm curling and just picking that knee up. This is a balance high knee on a pillow. Okay. And for some folks, just having the foot. 10 more seconds. Yep. There we go. A little more. A little more. One more and stop. Okay, so I want you to think about, I want you to think about was that really tough or not? Because we didn't warm up our legs very much. It's not a very strenuous exercise. We did warm up our shoulders. And if you felt yourself, hey, Terry, what's up? We're doing a balance and hips and stability 
workout this morning. So if you were really rocking and rolling and had a hard time picking that knee up, don't use the pillow. But now we're going to do some more um, dynamic warm up, which does what? Connect your brain to your body. And then you might notice that the same exercise is easier because what I love about balance work is you can improve balance right in the moment. Okay. So warm up for the legs. We're going to kick our butt. So just be thinking about was that really difficult? Because part of the reasons is our brain, it's called proprioception, is not connected to our body. It has released itself. And so you have to do movements, a bit agility and balance. Because Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to be focused on absolute strength, dynamic strength, endurance. But on Friday is kind of a bonus day where we're going to be doing anti-aging exercises or uh, what's another phrase for that now? gracefully aging exercises that keeps your body, your brain connected to your body. Yes, you have to be conscious of that. So we're kicking our butt right here. Yep, 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 yep. Now we're gonna put our arms out straight and lift those legs. And remember, I always remind you not to move the leg to the inside of your body, just straight up, if anything, a little out. You like my wild socks? Let's make Friday tie-dye Fridays. Yeah, here you go. Oops, I'm not doing opposite. See how easy that is? To do something different, not a big deal. I do want you to bring your arm over and do opposites. All right, now we're gonna climb a ladder. Are you ready? So you reach up for the rung, put your foot up, and you climb, and climb, and climb. Pull that ladder down. Pull it down, you're climbing a ladder. Come on, come on. Gotta get the body, look up, wake it up, get the blood flowing, yeah. Yep, 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 keep pulling, pull, yep. Pull those cobwebs out of the brain. Grab one of those cobwebs, pull them down. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, here we go. Little squat, lift the leg, right? Notice how when I lift, two things, my foot's parallel to the ground, I'm leaning towards my foot. So a little squat, just a little one, and kick. Make sure you're not kicking a friend in the room. Don't kick your kids. Kids, don't kick your parents. Mm -mm. Right? I have to take my ottoman out and move things back a little bit to make room, and that's good. Make room for fitness in your life. It's called fitness because you fit it in. Keep going. Keep going. That's right. Hopefully your breath is coming up. It's getting a little faster. You might have started with a little sweatshirt or a layer on. You're like, oh, i got to take that off. Keep going, keep going, okay. Now, right leg, we're gonna step back. When you step back, both knees are soft. The front knee needs to come forward. We're gonna step back and swing. Don't kick anything in front of you. Two, see that? Step back, there you go. And just swing loose. Belly's pulled in slightly. Don't hold your core so tight you can't breathe. That defeats the whole purpose, you might pass out. Gotta breathe. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Other side, so you just step back and just swing it. We're loosening up the hips. We're gonna be working the hips. This is a leg workout because you can't really work out your hips and balance and stability without doing some leg work. Keep it swinging, keep it swinging. Make sure your arms are involved. Yes, you can style your arms too. Da, da, da. Right, swing it. Oh, okay, good. Good, roll those hips around. All right, good. Roll those knees around, yay. Everybody's waking up, feeling good? Okay, let's, let's do a little bit of an invisible jump rope from Wednesday. If you're not a jumper, then just come up on your toes, up on your toes. If you're a jumper, jump off the ground a little bit. Now, if everything's rattling in your house, stop doing that. Just come up on your toes, right? We don't want anything to vibrate off a shelf. That 100-year-old plate or something like that. That would be bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, of course, I'm all assuming you're in some big antique house somewhere. Boom, 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 boom. There might be somebody in a tiny house. You might want to go in the yard and get a little room for this. Da, da. Everybody lives in a house. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, 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 and remember, 
Our home is the planet. Planet Earth. Okay, awesome. Okay, hopefully you're a little winded. You might even need a sip of water. I have my gallon of water right here. Okay. Yeah, it's fresh water. I know you're worried about that. Okay. So I'm going to set my timer over here, reset it. We're going to take the pillow and we're going to set it down on the floor unless you feel like, oh, my balance was terrible. You couldn't really stay stable at all. Then turn the chair, right? So you can just touch the back of the chair and all you're going to do is lift your knee and set it down. See like this without a weight? So actually people would say, well, that's really easy. Well, that's why we're going to add a weight opposite the side we're lifting. All right. And of course, you could do it either side. So the pillow's down. I'm standing in the center of the pillow. And now I got to balance. And I'm going to bicep curl and not set the knee I'm lifting down. Okay. 30 seconds. Ready, go. Boom. Concentrate. So that means just. Tuck in your belly button towards your spine. Pick that knee up. Keep going. I'm going to switch angles so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, picking that knee up. Now, believe it or not, balance work will make you sweaty because your brain uses a lot of energy. You could do this barefooted if you want. Doesn't really matter too much. And one more. Okay, we're going to switch sides. You might feel that burning in your calf muscle. Your calf has a lot to do with you being able to balance on one leg. So here we go. Okay. Notice how I'm nice and tall. I'm not tipping over. That's the whole point. This eight pounds of water is forcing my core to react. If it didn't react, I would just be tipped over, right? Don't do that. At least try not to keep doing that. Okay, let's do three more. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, now the next thing we're doing is called a step back and drive. Okay, it's similar, but there's a lot more to it. So I step back and I drive up, okay? Now, advance is I'm gonna go almost as low as I can without touching my knee down and drive and pause like this, okay? Sorry. If I have, uh, <laughs> if I have, uh, trouble doing that again here's the back of the chair I'm gonna step back right and I have this the whole touch I wouldn't hold on to it I would just lightly touch it and then drive up right so I have this chair for safety now for me because I want to challenge myself more I'm still going to use the pillow and the first round we're going to do it without a weight so I've got a pillow to drive up on or a step you could do a step with a pillow, right? All right, so here we go. It's going to be 30 seconds. Let me reset my timer. Ready and go. So I step back, drive up. Step back. Notice my arms are involved. Step back, drive up. Okay. Pause at the top. Step back, kneel down almost. Don't touch that knee down. Go. Here we go. Come on. Drive up. Drive up, tighten your belly if you're really having a hard time. Drive up. Ooh, you can see everyone loses their balance, even me. This is balance training, one more, that's it. Just switch your feet on the pillow, okay? 30 seconds, right? Center of the pillow tends to work best. Come down, arms are involved, drive up, drive up. Keep going. You don't worry about the count. You want to be thinking about your hips being stable, balancing on the standing leg. Posture is upright. Don't look down. If you want to pick a spot, do it out in front of you. Ten more seconds. Whoa. Keep going. Balance and stability. Come on. You got this. One more. One more. Boom. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna to switch to something that stimulates the brain's connection to the core. 
You can use an eight pound gallon of water. You could use an emoticon ball. I know all of you have these around. If you are someone going out to the grocery store or someone's going for you, grocery stores often have these little, little play balls for kids. Well, they're an exercise equipment. So pick something weightless or not weightless. You can do this seated. What you're gonna do is stand wide-legged. I'm gonna use the gallon of water. I'm gonna hold my belly in. I'm gonna twist. Now when I twist, my hips are twisting, my knees are softening, and I'm kinda of like a corkscrew. I'm gonna twist, bring that gallon of water about mid-shin, then I'm gonna stand tall. I'm doing this in slow motion. And reach high. Don't uh, hit your ceiling fan. Okay, so come down. See, I'm coming down across my body, mid shin. I'm going to turn at an angle so you can see it better. Legs are wide. I'm twisting, twisting, and up. If you do have equipment, this would traditionally be done with a medicine ball or with a weight that you hold. You can hold a weight. Like here's a 12 pound weight, you can hold a 12 pound weight on the ends, right? But I'm gonna do all the workouts designed for people that do not have equipment at home because a lot of us now, we can't get out and this equipment has been sold out in a lot of places that could be delivered. And usually it's expensive to deliver it. Okay, get on the water, turn and swing. Turn and swing, 30 seconds, let's go. Soft, reach. Twist down, reach up. Now some of you, you might have to look straight ahead because you get a little dizzy or something. Boom, keep going. I keep hitting the fan up here. All right, ooh, yes. Twist, yes, a little bit more. Okay, we're switching sides. Same idea, you might have to shift how you're holding your gallon of water. Twist down, you could touch the floor and reach as high as you can. It's like you're pretending, let's go, 30 seconds. You're pretending that you are the person handing that little bulldog that goes on the, on the front, on the hood of the Mack truck. That's your job. So you reach down, you pick up the little bulldog, and then that person puts it on the hood. Yeah. All right, here we go, keep going. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Remember these numbers don't have to be exact. We're doing it for time. Even if I lose track of time. Let's do one more, it's okay. Boom. All right, good job. Get a sip of water if you need it. Mm. Water breaks over. Do you notice that when I'm doing these things, I am concentrating on staying upright. Upright, chest out, chin neutral, looking straight ahead. When you're working on balance, do not look at the ground because that'll make you have to see the ground. What if you have something in your arms and you can't see the ground? So look straight ahead or look up. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I'm gonna start with my right foot on the pillow. Don't really matter. Just start with a foot on the pillow and hold the, the, the eight gallon weight, eight pounds of water on the opposite. And we're gonna lift, balance, and lift. Ooh, ooh. So this is a little different because the weight of the water is on the same side as the lifting leg. So you can see it impacts my core in a different way. I'm gonna try to relax my arm, but you can use it if you need to. You can touch a chair if you need to. This is 30 seconds. <clears throat> Got about 10 more. Oh, there you go, come on. There you go. A little bit more. Let's do two more. One. Whoa. Concentrate. Stand up right. Boom. Two. We're going to switch. All right. Switch feet. Right. You know, if you're, if you're a senior, beginner, little kid, you don't want to use these eight pounds, just use a can. Any amount of weight causes the uh, core to respond, to connect to your brain. Here we go. I'm, I'm doing the curl on the same side as the leg is lifting. 
So I have more weight wanting to pull me towards the lifting leg. Keep going. Don't worry about counting. Think about form. Focus on quality of movement. Whoa. Standing on that pillow makes all the difference. Makes it much more challenging. Just a few more. Let's do three more together. One, two, and three. Good. Okay, I'm gonna continue to use the pillow for driving. Honestly, if you're an advanced athlete, you could use a chair to drive up, but indoors, be very cautious. The ceilings, if you're a tall person, you could hit the ceiling. You can use a step, like you might have a step in your house. But I'm gonna to continue to use the pillow. And we don't need a weight to drive. You could add two dumbbells or one if you wanted to. All right, so I'm gonna switch feet from what I just did. And I wanna make sure you can see me. So notice how I almost kneel down. I'm upright, I'm not leaning forward. So if I'm a beginner, I might just go this far and drive up. When you drive up, don't let your knee go sideways. Keep your knee right in alignment with your hip and your shoulder. Don't let it, don't come over. That's not good for your hip. It's a bad habit. Okay, here we go. That was your break brought to my you by my explanation. Ready, go. One. I'm not counting, but I start counting because it's a habit. 30 seconds. Ooh. Keep going. Just step back, drive up. You want to pause in the top. You're not kicking your leg out. That's a little different variation. Just pick that knee up high above your belt line. There you go. Okay, one more, one more, because I don't want to end on that one. Boom, okay. Switching legs, All right? I'm gonna switch sides just in case that helps you understand what we're doing. All right, kneeling down, opposite arms up. Boom, like that. 30 seconds. You got this, come on. Quality of movement, standing real tall. Whew. There you go. I like doing it on the pillow. It really makes it more challenging for my core. Let's do four more together. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. Good. Okay, now we got this. We have, I'm not definitely seven. We got, okay, we have that eight gallons or we have a ball. If I'm just using a ball, that's totally fine. I'm gonna twist, right? You don't wanna twist and keep your feet down. Your heels should be up, your, the weight is on your toes, and I'm gonna reach as high as I can. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Reach. Here we go. Come on. Just keep moving, I want you to Come down, notice how my shoulders are up, and reach high. Reach it. Notice how it's an arc. I'm not bringing the ball near my body. Okay, about 10 more seconds. Swing. Using a ball is fine. Keep going a little bit more, a little bit more, and stop. Good job, switching sides. <sighs> Core is tight, chest is up, knees are soft. Turn lower by bending your legs and up, reaching. This back foot is on its toe and I'm reaching as high as I can. I'm straight lining, looking up, down, up. 30 seconds, let's go. Yeah, keeping that belly button slightly pulled in and I am breathing. I am not holding my breath because I wouldn't be able to keep talking like this. Keep going. Yes, looking good. Pass that bulldog up. Pass that little bulldog up. Come on. Go up. Keep going. Keep going. A lot of happy dogs in the world right now. A little more. A little more. Boom. Keep going. It's not an exact science. Just keep going. Let's do a couple more. Here we go. One. And two. 
Now, if my good friend and client Lawrence County, she'll probably say, Cam, you did 20 on one side, 22 on the other, whatever. Don't worry. It's not exact science. It's all good. Okay, we got one more round of that. Woo! Good. Take a deep breath. I'm always amazed at how those get my heart rate up. You can pretend you're tossing, you know, bags, throwing water buckets. Who knows? Just use your brain. It's a functional fitness movement. Functional fitness is what makes your life easier every day. Workouts get harder. Fitness and life gets fitness gets better, more increased, and your life gets easier. Okay. Weighted high knee. Got to have a weight for this. Or not. If you're really having a hard time, you might just use the pillow. We're going to stick to having the weight on the same side as the leg. Thanks for joining me and, and doing this workout with me. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm very upright. I'm looking straight ahead. I'm, you got to avoid looking at the ground. Straight ahead or up. Ready? And go. And I'm not setting down the leg I'm lifting. This is going to be 30 seconds. There you go. It's not about, you could curl more weight if you have weight. You could use like a bag with two gallons of water in it. That would be 16 pounds. And pick it up into a curl. If you really want to do that. Today's focus is on the hip stability. Your balance. Keep going a little more. Hopefully that standing calf is burning. You're connecting to your toes. Let's do three more. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, okay, other side. All right, so I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see the exercise from a different level. Looking straight ahead. 30 seconds. Ready, go. All right, so I'm just picking up, curling. I'm not setting the leg down that I'm lifting. Lifting the knee above my belt line. Keep going. You got this. Woo, if you're really struggling, remember you can touch the chair. Use the chair back. A little more. A little more. Oh, okay, that'll work. All right, now we're going to drive. All right. So driving, I've been doing it empty-handed. I'm going to drive with a weight right here held, right? And that's just going to, um, what, what you want to do is hold the weight to one side. It doesn't really matter which side. It just causes your brain to have to connect your body in a different way. Okay, so you could just hold a dumbbell right here, a weight. You could even hold the can of beans, okay? So this is the driving. So I'm going to put one foot on the pillow, kneel down. I'm still going to use the arm by having it my it's the opposite right so like this got that i'm kneeling down so ready 30 seconds go all right the weight really changes how this feels you could just let it hang down right really depends on what you could hold it on top of your head it doesn't matter too much okay keep going I got my arm messed up. Boom. Keep going. A few more. Let's do three more. One. Woo, that weight makes it different. Two. And three. Okay. So I'm going to change hands with the weights. Put the other foot on the pillow. Right? And here we go. Remember, if you're a beginner, you might not be using the pillow. You might be just doing a simple step back and drive. Okay? That's fine. You're going to do whatever is a win. Make it a win for you. Looking straight ahead. Chest is up. Stepping back. Make sure you step back behind your shoulder. Ready, go. 30 seconds. Boom. Boom. Yep. Oh, you don't have to curl. <laughs> you can curl. Keep going. All right, I'm going to change the angle. Keep going. Just so you can see me from a different angle. <laughs> All right, core's tight. Keep going. Get that knee high. 
Kneel as long as you want. We got two more. One and two. Okay, excellent. All right, now we're gonna do the gallon swings. All right, here we go. Take a deep breath, twist over, and lift high. Boom. It's a swing. Two. See how I'm swinging the gallon. All right. Reach high. Down low. Reach high. You can even touch it to the ground if you want to do. Reach high. Lift it up off the ground. Boom. All right. I'm going all the way to the ground, bending my knees, and lifting. Yes. You're not leaning forward. You're using your legs to lower your body. Mm. Keep going. Keep it going. Yes. Swing. Swing it good. All right, that was 30 seconds. <sighs> Tougher than it looks. Remember, you can use a ball or a balloon or you can swing your pillow. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Ready. We're coming down to the other side and swinging up. Swinging up, up on my back foot, on the toe. Swinging up. There you go. Your core has to respond to this weight swinging. Come on. Swing. Swing. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. If you don't want to move and you move anyway, there's a tremendous amount of benefit. Oh, overcoming. Come on, just a little more. Yeah. Keep going, a little more. All right? Everybody knows what I say. I say one more. There you go, one more. And you're done. There you go. Good job, that was three rounds. Notice how you're out of breath. I'm out of breath. I hope you're out of breath. So this is time to get some water. All right, take a nice sip of water. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. Everybody doing good today? Are you doing good, Facetta? Oh, wow. I hope everybody's working out and not just watching. These are simple exercises, yes. And I think they're very effective for connecting your brain to your body. Okay, so make sure you connect your brain to your heart too. I love you. You want to say that to yourself? Or you can say, I love me too. But you can say, I love me. I love me. I'm going to take care of me. Because when you take care of you, you're taking care of your community too. That rhymed, I know. Okay, so we are taking a break, but it's gonna be an active rest. All I want you to do, very simple, is just stand on one leg and put a foot out, okay? Now if you go camp, that's too easy. Um, you use a pillow to stand on. If you go camp, that's actually kind of tough. You're gonna to touch the chair lightly. Don't just hold on to the chair because that takes the brains work out of it. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm standing on the pillow. 30 second hold. There we go. Look at that. Yep. Just hanging out. You can do this any place, anytime, anywhere. Yep. Just stand on one foot. Now don't look down. A lot of people, their head's hanging down. Pick your head up. Look straight ahead or up. Like if you're indoors, picking the seam between the ceiling and the wall. Just keep holding it up there. Yes, very good. Okay, put the other foot down on the pillow. And I did, these are clean indoor shoes now because I cleaned them real good. Okay, all right. Yeah, don't stand on your pillows with dirty shoes. That would be bad unless you put a towel on the pillow. Towels are great. You can wash that towel real easy. All right. Holding, hanging out, hanging out. Keep that foot up. Tighten your core. Look straight ahead or up. Listen to my voice. You are a magnificent balancing machine of awesomeness. Yes. Keep balancing. Balance. And stop. Good. All right. Well, if your calves weren't burning, hopefully they are now. Okay. So the next round is going to be a single leg Superman. Or superwoman. 
a single leg superhero is what I think I'm gonna start calling it. Because we're all superheroes. Because we all know how to love people and love is a superpower. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with the chair first. <sighs> okay, so if I lean forward, we've done this in an airplane style. The idea is like this. And you, you see how I am just leaning forward, leaning forward, legs up. Everybody see that? That's a single leg Superman, but we're gonna rep it slowly, all right? So some people might call it a tipping Superman because we tip, right? Get into the position, come down slowly and tip. Okay, now let's say that you're just really already, you're struggling with that. So there's a few things you could do. You could have the chair set up. So as you tip, you, your hands reach the, the chair back and you can see how now I can focus on getting into the Superman position, coming down slowly. Okay, so you have it with the chair, without the chair. If you're a really tough balance person, you could put a ball in your hands or the gallon in your hands. You go for that now, okay. All right, so Superman's with or without the chair, with or without a weight, 30 seconds. Don't worry about the count. It's about quality of movement. The movement starts with your heel moving back. Here we go, 30 seconds, coming out, getting into the Superman position, and then slowly coming back to the standing position. Right, nice and upright. Keeping my head neutral, keep going. All right, stretching, stretching, stretching. All right, coming back. All right, this is cam time. Don't worry about the timer, just follow me. There we go, coming back. Get into that Superman position. All right, standing back, woo! My calf is lighting up. Okay, here we go. Do another one. Keep coming with me, come with me. Superhero, superhero, stretch, stretch, stretch. Come down slow, come down slow. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. Switch the leg. Stand up tall. Here we go. Coming down slow. Lifting those arms. All right, keep going. Get flat, parallel to the ground. Get that back leg. And back down, good, good. Keep going, here we go. Nice and slow with control. Core is tight, breathing, holding for a moment. Don't just fall down to the standing position, control it on the way down. Here we go, concentrate. You are a superhero. We got a lot of superheroes in the world. Super. All right, slowly, slowly, come down. Last one. Here we go. Here we go, you got this. Come on, come on. Here you go, here you go, stretch out, nice and stretch, hold it, hold it, coming down. Oh, lit up that calf. You're also using your hip and your hamstring. It's totally okay to need the chair. That's how you train the brain is you take, you use lightly touch that chair and your brain will start kicking in. And okay, so seated, the next one is a seated balance um, press or single leg one arm press. So if I am a beginner or a senior and I can sit on the floor or on a chair and hold my knees up like this, right? So another way to do it would be on the floor and my heels are on the ground and I'm like this because for a lot of people this this is tough this core holding myself up like this uh, I can pick my heels up and then I press like this okay so if I'm in a chair right and I lean back don't cheat by touching the chair back see if my my if your don't I don't do that you gotta Use it more like it so. See how I'm balanced? Then I'm gonna press up like this. This really makes your core go, what's going on? That's what it does, really. So for other folks, what I want you to do 
if you feel like that's too easy, is you're gonna single leg balance, take the eight gallon weight or the can and do that. Okay, it's a one uh, arm press, okay? So those are your choices. So it's gonna be 30 seconds left and right. If you're balancing and doing both arms together, too bad. Okay, that means you have to uh, do it for a minute. Don't think about that. Okay, you can, you can take a break if you need to. Okay, here we're balanced on one leg. I'm gonna move the weight up and down, 30 seconds. Oh yeah. Just make it very similar to that repetitive knee raise. We're just really connecting the brain to our core and our hips. Keep going. Lifting up. Standing nice and tall. Ah! Okay, keep going. 30 seconds. Just reset if you end up losing your balance. That's okay. Actually, losing your balance is a good thing. That means it's hard. Okay, here we go. Other side. Pick up the leg and press. Notice I'm pressing on the same side. If you're not, it's okay. It's just a variation. On the next one, I'll do it opposites, which frankly is a little bit tougher. Okay, belly's pulled in, chest is up, lifting this up. You got this. A little more. Oh, 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 I had to put that foot down. Okay, here we go. Keep going. And one more. Excellent. Okay. Now, we're gonna do something really fun. And what you're gonna do is take a ball, could be a big ball, could be a little ball. It could be your pillow, but I don't think so. So let's say right now you don't have a ball. Go get a piece of paper, ball it up. Okay, ball two pieces of paper together. So you see how I'm just throwing the ball back and forth? Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the single leg balance, hold that leg out in front, high as I can, and toss this back and forth. All right, there you go, toss it back and forth, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yep, ball play, yep, good for the brain. And you're making your brain do all this work while it's holding your leg up in the air. 30 seconds, you got 10 more on this leg. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, come on, yep, yep, yep. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, switch legs, boom, up in front, not out to the side, not behind you, straight up, because you're gonna feel that in your hip. Hip flexor, ready, go. Mm -mm. Dun, 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 dun. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Throw that ball, throw that ball back and forth. Whoa! Oh, I had to put my leg down. It's okay. Whoa, okay. Balance, balance. Hopefully you got a smile on your face playing with the ball. We're having a ball. Come on, keep going. 30 seconds, it's so long these days. 30 seconds and stop. Good job, way to hold your leg up near. Okay, all right. Wah. We gotta do all that again. So the first thing was what? The single leg superhero. And actually, we're, we're don't worry about the timer. We're gonna do four slow motion reps, right? So I'm standing nice and tall. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Get a sip of water if you need it. I'll do that real quick. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Because my brain, okay, my brain is working hard. Standing tall, ready, here we go. Notice how my leg comes up as I raise my arms, holding it out and slowly coming down. That's one, nice and tall. Coming out, coming out. The standing leg is soft, not locked. Soften as much as you need to. That's two. Hi, Darby. Darby has four legs instead of two. Here we go. Darby, you're not making this easier. I guess that's a good thing. Darby's leaning on my standing leg. Thanks for the help. Oh, see, but that was hard to come down slow. One more, one more, one more. I'm not done, you gotta wait. All right, here we go, here we go. And then down slow. Okay, good. Hopefully everyone saw that help with the angle. I'm gonna switch legs. Take a deep breath. Go lie down, go lie down. Hey, April. Here we go. Don't hit anything behind you. Go down in the Superman, Superman, superhero, superwoman. Down slow. 
All right, do it again. I was kicking that chair behind me. Up, up, up. And down. Good, two more. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Keep going, really stretch. Connect between your feet and your hands. Down slow, that's the hard part to me is coming down slow. All right, here we go, next one. Next one, here we go. Flatten out, superhero flying, flying around the earth, sprinkling love everywhere, and down. All right, now if you're using a chair, you should definitely be able to hold that, right? Okay, you are doing fantastic. The next one is gonna be the seated balance press. So this time I'm gonna sit in boat pose, right? Hey, how are you? How are you? Thank you for being here. You're in boat pose, you're holding it. So you're balanced. You could be in a straight leg boat pose with your dog licking your ears, that, that could happen. And then you just press it up and down. And my water is leaking, that's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. Okay, up and down, 30 seconds. Oh. Yes, very good, squeeze it tight. If you have to put your heels on the floor, that's fine. If you're balanced in your chair, not pressing, that's fine. Keep going. Mm. Pressing, pressing. Go, go, go. Hold the boat pose, hold it, hold it. A little more, a little more, three more. One, two, three. Good job. All right, picking up a ball. Oh. That was good. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to pick a leg out to the side and we're going to balance with it to the side. And notice a lot of people want to tip over like that. Don't tip over. Stay upright. How are you doing? What's up, Alicia? Hey, Lucy. All right. So we're like this, holding that leg up. Now we're just going to toss that ball back and forth. Left, right brain. Left, right brain, left, right brain. Hold that up, pull that belly in. Check into your posture. This is a 30 second hold with that leg up there. And the hips are going, but I don't wanna do that. You have to make it do it. Okay, that's important. You tell you're the boss of your body. It's not the boss of you. A little more, a little more, hold it, hold it, hold it higher. And down, good job. Oh, okay, other leg. Out, holding it up, all right, and tossing that ball back and forth. Now, if you keep dropping the ball, just let the ball go and focus on the leg, all right? That just means your brain can't do all of it. We think we can multitask, but we actually can't do that very well. But we can force our body to think about it. Multitask, throw the ball, throw the ball. If you have somebody in the room with you, toss the ball to each other. That's more fun, but don't break a lamp. Don't break a lamp. Eight more seconds, hold that leg up. Hold that leg up and stop. Oh, my goodness. It's harder than it looks. Okay, all we gotta do is go through all that one more time and we're cooling down. That's right. Or you could stop here, bail, go have breakfast. I'm gonna do it one more time, right? Today we've been working on hips, balance, stability, definitely the core. Hip strength and core is what balance is all about. The good news is we can improve that right now. We can improve your balance right now, right this moment by you focusing on your body. Okay, superhero, right? So I'm standing nice and tall. We're gonna do four each side, I'm gonna kick, Start the movement by moving a heel back. Lean out, lean out. Holding, get those arms high. Get you, here you go, and back down. There you go, going for number two. Nice. All right, control, control and focus. You are the boss of your body. Here we go, do it again. Yes, yes, yes. Stretch, connect between your hands and your feet. All right, one more. Go, 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 
good, Kim. Whew. Excellent, excellent. Okay, always come down slow. Don't just let it drop down. That's very important. You gotta maintain control. Other side, switch legs. Here we go, lifting. Let me help if the chair is not in the way. Remember, you can use the chair if you need to. Lifting, lifting. Superman, bend that standing leg as much as you need to. Slow on the way down. Here we go. Stretching. Good, good, good. Now nice and slow with control. Doing it again. There we go. Concentrate. Connect your brain to your body. Stretch. This isn't anti-aging. This is de-aging. One more. One more. There we go. You might notice it feels harder, but it's easier to do. Oh, see, I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, I'm going to get back in that position. Got to end on a good one. Ah. Uh, Oh, my hip. I can feel my hip burning right there. All right, I'm going to do it. Come on, concentrate. Focus. 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 Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, you know when the, the muscle's like, no, I don't want to do that anymore. Okay. So, single leg uh, uh, arm press, single leg press, or last time you saw me do it from boat pose with a press like this. So a couple more choices. You could hold that weight and just turn it from side to side. Uh, but what we're gonna do, if you're doing the single leg, is grab your weight, all right? I got eight pounds. And we're gonna balance on one leg, holding the high knee, but the weight is gonna be opposite the standing leg. That makes it more challenging. So I'm like this. Now the standing pose is less erectors, the front of your abs, what some people call it, and boat pose uses more erectors. So here I am just trying to balance, and we're going to press this up. Whoa, very different than holding it on the same side. 30 seconds, you got it. Whoa, yes, very different. I like it when it's challenging. That's what really improves your fitness, right, is the challenge of it. Here we go. Man, come on. Come on, third set is where it all comes together. It's not about the rep count. It's about continuing for 30 seconds. You got a few more to go. <sighs> Come on, touch that leg down if you have to, just like I did. Let's do three more. One, two, oh man, and three. Oh, I think I'll have to practice that one more. Switch sets. All right, lifting that leg up, holding it. I'm balancing on one leg. Bringing up the weight. You might be in boat pose, pressing both arms up. That's fine. Pick it, make it a win. Here we go. There you go. There you go. You might notice that one side seems to do better than the other side. It might have to do with that left right brain thing. Okay. Keep breathing. Concentrate. Focus. Keep going. Don't curl your toes up. If you can, spread them out. It's okay to do this barefooted. I think it's harder barefooted, but I'm flat-footed, so that's just really depends on who you are. One more. Yes. Very good. Okay. All right, the last thing we're doing, and then we're cooling down is we're going to stand on one leg. Now we've put the leg out to the front and we've put it out to the side. So what I want to do is just put it out kind of at the halfway point. It'll feel a little different because we generally don't move that way. So it's not to the front, it's not to the side, it's at that 45 degrees over here. Okay, and the, for it to be out there, your butt muscles got engaged. Then we're here, right? We're going to just throw the ball, mm. 30 second hold. Mm, okay, I like that. Tummy in. Boom, boom, boom. Throw in the ball. Throw in the ball. Got somebody in the room you can throw to without breaking something? Go ahead. Beam, beam. Hold that leg over there. 45 degrees out from your body. Forcing a little different muscle action there. 
Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I love having a ball, tossing a ball around. Remember to have a ball, a little more. Oh, hold that leg up, boom. Notice how I'm really trying to hold it up, parallel to the ground, not down here. Do that if you can. Other leg, boom, up. So my belly button's facing the camera. Legs out at a 45 degree angle, holding it up. Tossing the ball back and forth. Mm, mm. Come on, working out. We're working out here. 30 seconds, Ooh. <sighs> Okay, hold that. Oh, oh, I'm really struggling here. Don't watch me, I might throw you off. Okay, here we go, back to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, hold that leg up, tighten your abs. Tighten your abs. How, how often do you hold, just hold your leg up for a while? Most people don't do that. All right, but this is a simple way to strengthen those hips. Hold that leg in the air. Here we go, here we go. Dogs do it all the time. Dun, 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 dun. Lean it over, don't lean over. Almost there, and stop. Oh, ow. That really burned. All right, if you have another ball in the house, once you get a little, this is gonna be part of our cool down, let's get down, and you can toss two balls. Can you toss two balls like that? Yeah, we're just cooling down now. We're just gonna play with balls a little bit. I know what some of you are thinking, can you juggle? Well, the answer is maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see, I got this, I got this. All right, I got a hamburger. That's a hamburger. I got a hacky sack and a juggling ball, let's see. The hamburger might mess me up. Let's see. Let's go. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. See? See, I don't think I should use the hamburger. All right. Let me get another ball. Here we go. All right. All right. If you got two balls, throw them around. Three balls. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, almost. I'm a little rusty. See, this is live. I have not rehearsed. Okay, I'm sticking the two. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Two balls. Two balls up, down. Notice if you're tossing up with your right, and now toss up with your left. Why would I have you toss balls? Because it connects your hands to your brain. And though we're not doing a lot of driving, it helps with reaction time. Like, can you do this? Can you take, see that? So you have two balls, you drop them and then grab them before they fall, right? Because what we don't want to lose is our reaction time. Notice I'm having trouble with that one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Remember to have a ball. Now we did a lot of hip movement, so we wanna do some hip stretches. This is where the chair comes into play. You don't have to use it, but I like using it. I'm sitting on the chair with one leg back, one leg bent, sitting up nice and tall. Now a lot of people call this a runner stretch, but when you thank you for the love, the runner stretch, uh, you're weighted, you're not relaxed. So I like using the chair so you can relax. So right here, you're stretching out right at the hip in the front of the leg that's back. And you're sitting up tall. Wow, we made it through that. That was tough. I was focused. In balance work, you gotta be focused. You can't be daydreaming about other things. And frankly, that's why I like working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday right now is I literally, this is all about you and you moving your body and about me helping you do that. And of course, I get my workout in. Hi, Sally, how are you? Okay, Lisa, wow, thanks for joining me. I hope you're working out. <sighs> okay, so switch the chair. You don't have to switch the chair. You can just face the other way, but I don't wanna put my back to you. So I'm gonna put the other leg back and pull it back nice like this, yep. Yeah. So hips, hips have a lot of different muscles. Uh, hip rotators, internal, external rotators rotation and you your glutes are very involved so when we do legs next week there'll be a lot of glute work in that yay all y'all like oh no no that's a good thing you want a strong gluteus maximus and minimus okay we're gonna switch hey you can't, did you have a good walk i'm glad you did see the dog's getting the cardio in all right so i'm sitting in a chair and if i have had a hip replacement uh, the side that you've had the replacement, you're not supposed to really cross your legs, so keep that in mind. But if you haven't, we're gonna cross our legs like this, and I'm gonna push down on my knee, all right? Just gentle, taking a big breath in. Gently, but this can feel really good to some folks. I'm about to show you one that helps prevent, and in some folks maybe uh, support recovering from sciatic stuff. 
you know, where you feel that pain down your leg or in your butt or prevent it, for, I think for sure, hopefully. Especially if you're doing a lot more sitting than you used to. Okay, so now I'm gonna release that knee. I'm just gonna relax and bend forward, whatever amount I can. Not just, you know, roll over my back, but bend from the hips. So you should feel that right up in your hip area. You'll feel it wherever you're the tightest. <sighs> breathe in deep, breathe in deep. Oh, that was a sweaty one for sure. It's because the brain uses the most energy. If you're not hungry, you might want to ignore that. Make sure you eat at least three meals. Right now, balancing your blood sugar, one meal, one snack at a time is so important. When your blood sugar is balanced is when your immunity is strongest, okay? So just keep that in mind. I know for me, I'm a stress starver, not a stress eater. Okay, we're gonna switch our legs. I'm gonna gently push down on that knee. So I tend to not wanna eat, but what I've done is I just eat on time every day, and I eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I have a couple sensible snacks if I feel like it, but I've noticed if I eat, then I have a good appetite. If I skip a meal, then it throws my appetite off. And if all you have is really good, healthy food, and you say, well, I'm, I'm a stress eater, then just don't have those items in your house that you know don't, it, it's not food if it doesn't nourish your body. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I love you, I really care about you. Okay, here we go, leaning forward, leaning forward. You should feel that right up in the hip, or you might feel that in your glute. Okay, fitness, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't eaten breakfast yet, it's time. The best thing to do would be protein shake before the workout and breakfast after is fine. But if you're somebody that can eat before, that's great. All right, and we're leaving up. Okay, last things we're gonna do, put your hands on your hip, roll them around like that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that feels good, yes. Okay, and now we're gonna do this. It's called empty coat sleeves where we just go back and forth. It's like you're wearing a giant coat, like you're a little kid again in a big coat. Like this. Yep. Just nice and relaxed. I'm so proud of all of you that actually are doing this workout. Please comment if you do it as a recording. Definitely comment if you do it live, not during the workout, but after. Let me know how it went. And right now I'm, I'm kneeling down so you can see my shoulders. The last things we're gonna do is just move some energy through us. Congratulate ourselves on fitting fitness in. That's why you call it fitness. Okay, remember fitness happens when you work out and health happens in the kitchen and when you eat. All right, here we go, big breath in. <sighs> okay, let's do that again. It's okay to make noise. <sighs> okay, one more time. <sighs> Good job, you made it through another co video number 11. Love out to the world, I love you. You love you. Thank you so much for fitness in, and I will see you on Monday morning at 8.30 East Coast Standard Time.